Hi everybody, this is Aaron with TheRuggedStore.com. I have two different tough books in front of you. I have the Panasonic CF33 2-in-1 tough book and the older semi-rugged CF53. This is a fully rugged versus a uh, semi-rugged. And what I want to talk to you briefly in this video is the difference in displays. So the CF33 has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio and the CF53 has a 16 to 9. Now don't let the bigger numbers fool you. The CF33 definitely has a better display. So you can already see, I have a website, you know, I'm trying to compare apples to apples here for you. And this is a Amazon website, very well formatted website that is very adaptable to a lot of different devices. This is a 14 inch display displaying at 16 to nine. This is a 12 inch display displaying at three to two. And I hope just in the visual representation, it's already pretty clear the point that I'm gonna be trying to make in this video. So even though this is a smaller real estate screen, at, like I said, 12 to the 14 inches, this is displaying a lot more data. So don't let the three to two to the, compared to the 16 to nine fool you. The 16 to nine is what you commonly associate with HD. This one in particular, the CF53, is a 1366 pixel by 768 pixel count. And the more familiar 16 to 9 ratio, the 1920 by 1080p, is also a 16 to 9 ratio. And so you can see that that means it's a little bit more rectangular. This is a little bit more square, still a rectangular shape, but this is a pretty common 3 2 ratio in uh, 2 in 1 laptops. And you'll see this in the CF33. So showing the screens right here, we're looking at. Uh, the same website, the same Zoom, or default Zoom for uh, Mozilla Firefox, and you can see that this is displaying a lot more products and a lot more of the website. Now, this is important for uh, two different things. Sometimes a website, not like uh, Amazon, is not formatted to a lot of different devices, so it runs into the HD um, display ratio, and you'll see these bars, like black bars that show up. So the website still has the function, so it utilizes bandwidth, you know, so to display those black bars and utilizes um, battery power, but you might have to scroll back and forth to get all of the website. The 3 2 aspect ratio is a lot better formatting to get all of the website, all of the sidebars, and utilize all of your screen space. So even though you might get a 14 inch display, you might not be utilizing all of the real estate you have if you had a 3.2 display at 12 inches. So I'm gonna switch it really quick over to uh, Fox News, just another uh, commonly known website, just to show a little bit more visual comparison. So you see automatically, uh, even at the 100% zoom, default zoom, it's at the same zoom for the browser. I'm displaying a lot more uh, videos. You're looking at like four different video clip previews on the side compared to two over here. Uh, you get more of the home page, the main page, etc. Just because uh, I'm gonna show both sides of the coin. We'll show some CNN. We're not biased towards one news source or the other. We'll show CNN and that looks like uh, we're doing some reloading, but uh, this one looks like it gave us a advertisement. So let me see if I can just uh, refresh this here, just to compare. Okay, we'll load that top bar and uh, there we go. Okay, so now we're showing apples to apples again. We got the same top bar presented by CNN and we have the home page. You can see that you can't even start reading the articles. As you can see, you're looking already at four articles over on this side. So that display ratio on this side compared to this one is utilizing a lot more of the real estate. And you can always zoom in on this and change the viewpoint so to be able to zoom in. And if you wanted a higher um, font size or bigger font size and you wanted to be able to make it easier to read, you could always do that, do that with this screen. But when you zoom out with this screen, everything becomes a lot blurry. And I will try to show that here in a second, but I wanted to show through the last example, Google Sheets. So this is a very important example because this is a very good commercial application for this screen. So you can see the rows are, or I'm sorry, the columns are very similar uh, at the default zoom. You're looking at M and it ends with M and we're getting a little bit of column N. But where it really um, shines is the rows. You're looking at the default zoom, you're only able to see up to 21 over on this side. We got all the way down to 30 on this side. And we can always, like I said, zoom in on this data, but if we zoom out, it becomes a lot less clear. There's a lot more pixels to work with, so it's a more crisp, clear definition on this side. So hopefully this is a good visual demonstration of the CF33 display versus the CF53 display. And so the um, aspect ratio, the, the pixel count is just all around superior on the CF33. So if you're looking for something that you want a uh, very good utilization of a smaller screen, or um, in this case it's quite a large screen, it's a 12 inch display, the CF33 is definitely the way to go. 
If you have any questions about either Tough Book, we sell both the 53, the 33, and any other Tough Book, Tough Pad in between, definitely hit us up at theruggedstory.com. We look forward to talking to you, working with you, and answering all your questions. See you there. Bye-bye.